Fortunately for Navi, they also got a good D ward. Like the first century they dropped, they actually got a high ground ward on their side of the river that was dropped by Fnatic. So for the early game, at least, they're only going to have one ward worth of vision, and I'm not sure. A boss to get three decays on him. Tombstone's dropped. He's only got 378 health. I think he's dead. I think he's incredibly dead. He's not going to be able to take down the Tombstone. Trying to go for the runaround isn't going to happen. And John, oh! Arts down. We'll find the return kill onto Johnny. But nonetheless, losing the roaming bounty, getting yourself first blood on the position one Razor. The thing is, since he actually died to creeps in bottom lane. Chris, he had another dive here. Yeah, going in onto KOXY, could have been a bit of trouble there. Trying to turn this one around with the burst damage. Is not going to be quite enough to bring that. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh my oh! god. KOXY gets the kill onto Funnick, and he gets out. And Boss has got to be very, very careful where he treads here. Because they're ready to go, and they're going to go for it here. Her boss in a lot of trouble. Tombstone drop. There's going to be a TP coming in from Artstyle. Will he be able to get the Shadow Grove off? Yes, he will just in time. With the TP as well coming in from Snake on the Nugget. Might be enough to save her boss. No! CM there with a the final right click. Just in time. Timed perfectly against the Shallow Grave. Will find the kill. And here comes Johnny looking for Artstyle. No, he's not. He's going to leave it. Johnny's not coming today. For now. Fnatic definitely the ones winning laning phase. Bottom lane, KYXY, he's in some trouble here. No. Right, he's not gonna get himself out of that one. Will go down. Fnatic and Snake. Wand, and he will be a okay at least for the time being. But top lane, Johnny, he does not want to give up, man. He just wants to try to go for kills. Yes, he's coming in as well. He's gonna have to back up, yeah, Johnny, to remove that static link. Mid lane, Snake. This is a four man right here. Dreamcon jobs as well. Mushi in a lot of trouble. Has got the blood right out though. Doesn't matter though. They'll lose the Bloodseeker, maybe they can find something on the back of it. Looking for Arstyle, but Arstyle will get the Shallow Grave off. Ohio's turned up here, trying to fight through this. Has dropped down the Tombstone. Arstyle sticking around, trying to get rid of the zombie down the Tombstone. Not going to happen. Arstyle to full Funny, trying to get rid of the Tombstone. He will. Funny just able to get himself out. No! I get CM with these right clicks. Kessie Kimber. It's just too much for Na'Vi. Second kill there for the side, and they're, oh, they're going to look for more. Ohio moving forward, Zaneko, he's coming a little bit too far, that's a double kill for Ohio. Ohio's just destroying them, look at the decay stack! He's he got 1300 health in 7 <laughs> minutes! I well, clicked Zaneko, and he's got 2700 gold. Oh boy! So the plan is... When in doubt, get Radiance. We, we need to make sure that the Naga Siren gets Radiance, that's going to be their fallback. Now, it's still, I think, Fnatic's game to lose at this point. They definitely have a lead. Okay, that's that's aggressive. That's a very nice dream call as well. Mushi and Kesagima. Kesagima to full. Mushi's still alive, buying himself some time. Ohio has turned up, and now the song here. They're looking to take down the Tombstone, and this is Na'Vi now working perfectly as a team. Can they get the kills on the back of this? Mushi, he's going to get blown up straight away. The hill ball, Ohio, he's getting a lot of mana. He hasn't got a mech. He's already used it. Deadly catching him out in with the snowball as well from Funning. Ohio to full as well. KOX from the sideline. Can he do anything response? I don't think he can. He needs to get himself out. Will zip himself back towards his base with the amount of mana that he's got. Three heroes to fall on Fnatic. Off the back of that, Zaneko, 3.4k god. They get this tower as well. He's pretty much got his goddamn relic. What's he got coming out of the curry? Is that the BKB? Ah, okay, no, he's, he's, there's the workings of one. He's got the Ogre Club on his way. Ah, okay, here we go. Zipping onto Arstyle. They want a quick and easy pick off, and then Arstyle will find it. Dendy's down with the Dream Call onto two. There's going to be TPs coming out as well, and there's Funny. Straight away with the Wolves Punch. The KYXY, they're looking to try and bring down him, but here we go with the Glimmer Cape. He's going to be okay. The song's coming out now for Zaneko. Is this a disengaged song? It certainly yeah, looks they like it. Run. They want to get out of it. Dandy just clearing off these zombies. Uh, okay, rupture onto her board to zipping forth. They want to try and find him. He will be able to use the last of his mana here to get off the map. It's not going to save him though. The razor will go down. And Fnatic proving that still with the aggression and the team fight that they've got, they can very easily take one against Narvi. Top lane, talking about farming. KYXY is looking for some. Needs to be careful though because Dandy is Dendi around with the hex. Yeah. That's going to live the long, wrong way here. Now he's going to reveal himself. He's trying to go in on Snaker, but there's the backup. Funny coming in first. Kimmerich gets the BKB out before the hex goes down. Now he really wants to get the Snark, and he might just find it. He does. Brings down Snaker. Now he's going to look to get himself out. He's out of mana, though. But the backup's here. Fnatic's turned up. This is the kind of fight that they want to look for. Denny's blinked himself away from this. And there will be a blink out from Funk as well. But they're going to chase it down here. Funny cross bitten up. They'll take him down as well. And Fnatic. Finding Na'Vi out of place very, very nicely. Phoenix got 2k in gold and Arstyle. He picked up the Ghost Scepter. Other than that, 
A little bit of a poor game here for Artstar. Low on the network, but understandably so. Did a tough one. On to the blood. CK here. Mush are getting caught out of the midline. They'll be able to bring it down. Okay, well, XY coming in, trying to turn this one around. Doing a lot of damage. It's a little bit low on mana. Denny kept alive here with the Shallow Grave. And now there's your song. BKB is going to wear out. Can now be fine. Something off the back of this here. They have got Mushi to worry about on the sidelines, but they've already taken down Johnny here on the Bounty Hunter. But no, Na'Vi, they just all die. The, the damage from Kessick's freezing field, too much. And the fact you've got Mushi just running around at the speed of light. Art style drops as well. And Na'Vi, nah, that was not the song of the siren setup that they needed. Might already be too late. You can see Saniko, he still hasn't even Radiant's felt pressured enough to teleport to base. Attack. He's saying, yeah, it's fine. I'll just sit up here, pop my mantle on cooldown, throw the mirror images at the tower. Like this tier 3 top lane is taking more damage than the bottom tier 3 that Navi are being pushed in by right now. So, it's a little bit concerning. Oh, they're going to go in straight away with a Hex onto her force. They want to try and find him, but it's going to be fine. They're actually backing up because the Hex now kill x -Y. We'll be able to get the BKB out looking for the kill onto Funny, pulling him, but they are hard. The snowball there just in time, along with the Shallow Grave. And now it's going to be Fnatic getting themselves the hell out. Snowball chasing down KOA x -Y with a stun catch. No, he's able to just juke it out, but now we need the snare. Snake has turned up to the fight here. KOA x -Y will get Glimmer kicked up. He's going to be fine for the time being because Na'Vi backing themselves back up to the pace. And now KOA x -Y, he's looking for blood. He just goes straight in there. He is not scared at all. He knows that they cannot kill this storm. There's a freezing field here, because why the hell not? It looks pretty there from Kessa Kimba. Mushi continues to go in now. Kawaii Fly with a headshot to Danny Shiva's guard as well. They really when Mushi's down it. Oh, so just in time here with the Shadow Grave. Danny needs to get himself out. Can't go down. They've already lost Funnick here on the side of Navi. Now with a hex on the Kawaii Fly. Buy back from Funnick here. And now Seneco going in. Can he clean this one? Is he the carry that Navi needed at this point in time? Kessick's able to retreat himself out. Johnny getting low, getting healed up by the Soul Rift here. Michael died. There comes Funnick in with the balls. Three heroes down at the moment. They've managed to pop the ages here on Storm Spirit. Can they kill him for the second time? That's going to be the real testament to see if they can do it. But no, Kawaii Fly's out. There. They're gonna go for the easier time to look for Mushi. Mushi eats the cheese. He's a bit of a fan of the old Rob Zola trying to continue to find this blood right being thrown down. A boss bringing Kessick for low. Kessick still alive at this moment in time. KOX like just doing too much. Mushi low needs the life deal. Is he gonna find it? Mushi's gonna drop. KOX like getting sucked up. Can they kill the storm? Yes, they can! It's a team fight. Fnatic hit the deck and Navi are able for what seems to be the first time in forever take an incredibly, incredibly convincing fight. Old Moonshot, ah, yeah, that's something that I've overlooked. I'd like see a bit of the old Moonshot Seneko Naga, that, and that's the dream there, Mushi. He's being eyed up here by Nafi, and here we go straight in onto Mushi, with the Hex as well, and they bring him down, yes, he can! That's your Pussy, get out for two minutes, that's up with the fight back, but it doesn't look like it's available. Okay, well, that's why trying to fight back here, putting an art style here, Arthur getting level with the Ghost Scepter, gonna be okay, and now it's Nafi, continues to fight, okay, well, he's incredibly low on mana, needs to be careful, there's a freezing field coming out from Kessinger, but coming out for the war, it's punched there, from Funny will cancel it, they lose KOA out to as well, he will fire straight away, but Kessinger on the sidelines, the, uh, the Mushi Bounty Hunter, as well, seeker down as well, they don't have buybacks, and Echo there with a clutch song. TP's out, the Na'Vi side will escape. They did lose Funnick and Artstyle off the back of that, but the fact that they were able to get Mushi off the map for Na'Vi... No, they're at a point now where they can quite easily lose a fight against Na'Vi if Na'Vi get the jump. Na'Vi, they're going to look to use the face to go for Roshi. But Fnatic smoked up. They want to contest this one. This is going to be big. It's a half hour for the moment. Kessig leading the way here. In we go straight away with the BKB. Now with the freezing. Funny trying to get there. No! With the work, but he's actually going to opt to use the snowball here. They have lost Arkstar here on the Dazzle. But Bob doing what he can here with the Eye of the Storm. Seneca running around as well, focusing on Hanushi. Mushi gets down, and he will be able to bring down her force before Seneca can save him with the Song of the Sirens. Seneca will simply TP out. They'll send Dendi back to base as well. And they're going to go for it this time. Aegis, Cheese, and Toe, as you were saying. See what Navi can do in order to stop this. They have got everyone up and they're smoking up as well, looking for maybe to bait a KOXY forward onto a Weave's gonna get thrown down by Artstar. A little sort of pop on KOXY as well to help him against these scythe initiations. And here we go. Okay, but in the war space. They just like to follow it up now. KOXY is a little piggy big eat trying to chase it down. Look at the damage he is doing here. And also did get the static link off. And now the it's now holding Mushi back in place. Ohio and KOXY grouped up. That's what the dream part is going to pull a ball. Wengrip comes up with the BKB there straight away. They're trying to get Kessigan, but Kessigan are getting low. They're moving down the crystal maiden. Snowball coming out just in time here from Funny. Mushi's getting low. Look at the damage your force is doing. It's doing too much. Mushi's going to fall. KOX by trying to fight through this one. Tonight they're getting out of the mirror's image and now facing down Mushi. Mushi is fairly speedy. Trying to run himself away. Here we go. Now he's coming down the blood fight. Can they kill Mushi? Getting low to damage again. Her force is doing so much with the AC and everything. Mushi can't run himself out of this one. Now they look towards Ohio. Ohio will get the hex out onto Seneco. But KOX, he's sniped up from 
deadly. KY XY gets Horus punched in by Funnick. I hope that you can add the sideline here with the Glimmer Cape. Of course, incredibly low, but it's got the, the shallow grave here from Arsenal. Mushi, can he fight him? Can he get the life steal? No, he won't get the life steal. We'll get the kill, though. He's getting so much. Mushi, he's gonna live. It's a double kill for Mushi. He'll clear out the creepways as well. A TP was being accepted by Navi. There's a buyback from Avorce, a buyback as well from Seneca. But they're a side of Fnatic. They back off after that one. Well, Navi at this point, very, very carefully, understandably so as well. What's that being upgraded here by Seneca? Still seeing on 5,300 going forwards, Fernay. Oh, getting okay. from Denny. Can they find Mushi now? Go XO, balling in straight away. Pop the BKB as well. Looking for Denny. Denny's being hexed up. Now Denny's got the Lotus Orb on himself, trying to turn it around. Mushi with his BKB and the Lotus Orb. But it's the song of the sound for Seneca. Maybe setting this one up. Mushi getting low. Indeed, he will go down. That's going to be Mushi down for two minutes with that dive back. It's very quickly. Now they're looking for KYXY. Can they get him? KYXY is getting low. But Kessie Kimba, who can with the freezing feel pretty big. Kessie Kimba to pull the KYXY out of matter. And the war is punched there. But he'd be able to finish him off by back from Stone Spirit. Realizes his team needs him to turn this one around. Oh, keeping himself alive for the fair future case stats. And there we go. KY XY zipping straight back into the fight. He'll find Warm. He's going to go for He's going to go for here. Pulling him in. They've lost Dandy. They've lost Seneco. Neither of these heroes with buyback available. This KY XY buyback might just win the game here for Fnatic. He's looking for a force here. Go forward. Will he be able to get it? Arstal do what he can to keep him up. Arstal down. Pig. Pigs don't help people live. They help people eat. And that's going to be it. Potentially three heroes down on Na'Vi. Funny stuff in the tree line. They're looking for him. Arstal tries to do what he can to keep his team alive. He says, guys, I'm trying my best here. It's not going to be enough. But it will get a shuriken to the backside. Bye back from Arstal. But it's a dazzle trying to defend the base against three very, very angry members of Fnatic who are going to look to take the bottom set of facts and potentially more because by uh, Na'Vi, they haven't tapped out yet. I mean, it must be frustrating to get to 17 minutes in. Na'Vi, the bounty buys a book, Dyer's Johnny buys a book in out. their base and pops at the push. Johnny, a good game while play comes up from Na'Vi. It was always good at literature. How did Fnatic actually win this game? Like, wow. It, it was what a so moment. bad for them what a after a while. Seneco, hats off to him. He did very well in terms of transitioning into that carry role. But at the end of the day, the plays from Fnatic, they brought their, they brought their A++ game. At the end of the day, the decisions they made at the end the two were incredible. Yeah. The buyback from Mushi, which yeah. forced Seneco to buy back yeah. along with Havost, that was the thing that set yes. everything in motion. That because was then when KYXY had his buyback, they killed the two cores again right outside of Navi's base.